Manchester United 2, Luton Town uh, 1. Look, guys, I mean, this is the fourth game in a row, uh, fourth victory for Manchester United in a row. Fantastic, fantastic results. I know for most of you uh, who uh, really wanted United to have not only the results, but also the, pl uh, the, the, the playing style, the tactical part of Manchester United football. I think most of you have to be contented because at the end of the day, guys, let's be serious. The most important thing in football today is the results. Because if you can win ugly all your games in the season, nobody cares for how you play. And also for those of you who don't want to back Manchester United because you want Ten Hag to be sacked, shame on you. That is wrong. You have to... Uh, generally uh, uh, support your team basically I mean I didn't like setting managers I like Mourinho but I think he wasn't that effective in terms of his playing style I also think that uh, Van Gaal was a bit I mean too, well discipline is okay but a bit slow his football but you know you have to learn how to support your team guys smash a like on the video if you think that uh, Rasmus Holland or maybe Evans the, the, uh, or Evans was your man of the match because uh, get, um, I mean I think Evans had a very good impact in that game when he came in the second half. He, I mean, I can't count the amount of heads that uh, he removed. Uh, he, 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 he just knocked it out from the defense. But anyway, we'll do our player ratings. But I want to, uh, I, I want to uh, dwell on something here with Manchester United, the fans, the fan section of things. Look, I have asked most of you if. Being a Manchester United fan means you need to be living in Manchester. And, well, I, I think most of you said no. Because there is always this thing that... Uh, for, uh, there's, there's this day, daydreaming way of thinking Manchester United that it is owned by a certain group of people. This is a well, well brand, which just like Gucci or whatever brand like Nike you're using. Uh, uh, but anyway, I regress on that. Look, coming back to the game today, I think United, we had two clear chances to, to, to win that game. Two one-on-one. -on -one. You had a Bruno one. You had also the um, Ganacho one. I think it's really fair for United to win the game today. The, the victory today was uh, merited. You might say in terms of statistics, and I can read you the statistics here. I, 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 you know, when these games are going on, what, happen, what I do generally, I also look at Twitter I look at what's going on also in other social media groups. There's a lot of negativity. At the end of this game, what I notice here in terms of statistics, you will see clearly that uh, Manchester United had a 41% a possession against 59. Luton has been doing well. I, I told you guys on my preview in the channel that uh, I think United had to win either 3-1 or 2-0, which means I, I didn't get it. But anyway, United won the game, uh, uh, beat the opener. But Luton has been a team which most of you, most of the most of football fans were saying Manchester United, it would be difficult for us to get a, a result here. And I don't know why. I think uh, yeah, uh, in terms of class, we were far better than them in terms of class. Don't forget, when you go to a team which is low, uh, uh, which is lower than you in terms of quality, what they do, they play with their home crowd. They, they have a small pitch, by the way. They are motivated by all the uh, other aspects of the game. Um, and yeah, so um, I think I'm over the moon. We have four, four, what, what matters. You need to focus on what matters most as a United fan, as a football fan in general. And uh, what I'll focus on is the four big three. Uh, Rasmus Holland scored uh, a double. Uh, it's okay for me because, I mean, well, we are now three points behind uh, sports, which means our dreams for qualify for, tra for Champions League yesterday, it is still on track. That is what is important. Some of you sit on the channel and say, I want to, you want United to buy Kylian Mbappe, which it would not happen even if we, uh, we win the league. You want United to buy players, which are just all these expensive players. Where does the money come from if we don't qualify, if we don't win dirty? See Alex Ferguson, um, the mentor of United, has always said, Sometimes a great team is a team that wins dirty at times, a team that win when they're not in good shape. So guys, please, if you're a Manchester United fan, please, please, please listen to me simply. Um, try to focus on the good side of things. We don't have the players to play the Manchester City way. We don't have the players to play the Prime Barcelona way. I don't know how to explain this again, but you guys are smart. I think most of you who are negative, you are doing that on purpose. I don't want to say you're not, you're not a United fan. You, I mean, you, you have your right for your opinions. But what I want to tell you guys today is that it's a disgrace if you're a fan, um, clicking your hands, hoping for United to lose the game. Coming back on the game, I think, as I said, my man of the match is Rasmus Holland. Why? 
And the question is why? The reason is I think his goals matter if he didn't score those goals. You can say first goal was fantastic, the second goal was a deflection, but it's still a goal. That's what attack you expect from attackers. And uh, uh, and the team also played well. United, yes, we had a bit, we won the game, but there there are this sign of uh, in question, right? Where where we don't we don't uh, collective play is very uh, is very premature or say amateur, I'll put it that way. Why? Because there's certain actions where we had to break it. A good team, if Real Madrid had those action, those uh, the one on one where we had we had three of them in general. It had to be this had to be a five one goal. If we are playing with top players, that is the difference between playing with top, having top players in your team and having players who are great. Ganacho is not a top player, top player yet. Bruno is not in good shape. Rasmus Holland is learning in it in the job. We uh, uh, you have players like Kobe Mueno who also are learning. Well, we, United presently we have some very uh, experienced players, but uh, um, unfortunately they are not attackers. You know, so we have to uh, take the victory positive um this has been a fantastic uh mom well february we are now if someone told me told me that in february we are going to win all our games i would have said no i would have said you are just uh you're kidding but uh yeah but it has happened our next game will be with fulham in old trafford i um reckon that we have to win that game and guys tell me if you feel a positive about that game because i am positive let's go to the player ratings uh we start by with the goalkeeper on nana and nana i think uh and Nana had uh, a quiet game. Yes, it's true. They were very offensive. Uh, Luton, but Nana will give Nana a six on that game. Harry Maguire, I think he came out for an, for an injury, but he had a yellow card, an average six. Uh, I will give uh, uh, a player like Veron a seven. Why? Not because he was that fantastic, but because he, he, he did 90 minutes and his experience did the difference. Uh, I think the law. The low for me is a 6.5. Luke Shaw, uh, average. Uh, Luke Shaw has a problem. I don't know why Luke Shaw is giving. Uh, why Luke Shaw is even giving a rest? Why are they taking a risk on Luke Shaw? I still the. I mean, our department or medical department. I want to say something clear. If someone is in contact with um, the Enos group, they should look very deeply in our medical department because we have. It seems we have some flawed doctors in that department. Luke Shaw, I gave him a, gave Luke Shaw a, a 5.5. He wasn't fit by playing. Casemiro, very important player. You need to be a dumb football fan. Dumb fan. Dumb. I mean, you don't understand football to, to say Casemiro isn't a good player. I mean, you really have to be dumb not to understand the role Casemiro plays in a team. Especially a team with, with lack of quality like Manchester United. Casemiro, for me, he was 7. And I give him a 7. You can give me, if, if you give Casemiro anything less than a 6, you don't understand football because if you say Casemiro, the reason why I'm giving him a seven is because he's so vital in the way we play. The way he breaks, yes, he gets yellow cards, but he something he has to do it. It's not like he goes for the yellow card. There is a level of bias for Casemiro, which I mean, if you haven't reckoned that on the Premier League, then I don't know what league you're watching. Menu for me, Kobe Menu is six. The midfield six point five. I mean, you think any of them will be fine. Bruno Fernandes haven't had a good game for me. It's a 5.5. I think Bruno is even a 5. The standards for me with Bruno is quite high and uh, I'm not satisfied with Bruno's game. Marcus Rashford, I think the collective part of Marcus Rashford's game has been already seen. You can see Marcus Rashford, he didn't score, but he, for me, he had uh, more or less a, a very good game. I give Rashford a 6.5. Uh, um, uh, uh, a player like Ganacho, I think I give him a 6. Because Ganacho had all the chances to be a man of the match. He very open the with occasions where he had to score. Ganacho sometimes wants always to score that that uh, no, that magic goal for United, which uh, I think is maturity behind. He grew as he grows, he will build up uh, his uh, decision making properly. A six for me, and um, a seven point five for me for uh, Rasmus Holland. A double for Rasmus Holland was just enough for United to clinch the three points. I'm happy for him. In less, I mean, just just some couple of well, days ago, two weeks, I think less than two weeks. Most of you guys, most of the pundits, most of the people you guys worship online, most of the pundits you guys watch on TV, they were writing out Erasmus Holland. This is why I keep telling you fans that you need to use this. But unfortunately, some of you have it and you don't want to use it. Don't listen to it because there is a level of bias in Manchester United which you can easily see on the press. This is not a magic. This is something that you have to build your confidence and also 
I'm not saying you shouldn't criticize the player when he's in playing well, but I'm saying that you should understand the, the I'll put it this way, the media manipulation in terms of football. Manchester United is the club that has made a lot of people get, uh, became relevant by negative, by selling negative, uh, negative uh, news and, uh, and uh, antics. So you shouldn't fall into, into it. The players who came in, you have uh, Amrabat, which I think he won't be given a permanent contract. I think United has already made that clear. He'll be going back to Fiorentina. Amrabat, I mean, a six. I think Lindelof, who came in also, a six. Six, six point five. I wasn't expecting Lindelof. I thought he was going to have enough, a lot of problems, but he did cope with the game. And um, uh, I will go with uh, Evans. Evans also, if you give, if Evans is your man of the match, I think you have the, what I give, I give you, an, I would say you have an eagle eye. Eagle eye, it means you are a very good selection or you're someone who watched the game very proper. I mean, properly in depth, uh, uh watcher of football. Uh, so, um, I think I'll give Evans, Evans seven for me. I think he did a very, very good job. And Ten Hag, which is the manager in this game, his in game management wasn't bad. We won the game. I give Ten Hag a 6.5 because you know, at the end of the day, Luton, uh, Luton is not a uh, prime man city. Yes, they had uh, advantage, well, ball possession, but United, we managed to get the victory today, which was very important. Anyway, guys, hope you are happy with the results. If you're happy with the results, match a like on the video. If Rasmus Haaland is your man of the match, give that like on the video. And yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing a video about the five things we learned tactically in this game. There are a lot of tactical things and improvement United needs to do in order to be relevant, not only against our next game against Fulham, but uh, to make sure we have a good end of season. So make sure you stay tuned and also subscribe because we'll give it, we will uh, uh, outline all that tomorrow on the video. Anyway, guys, great speaking to you and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.